Hey everybody, I am Sim Sweetie, and welcome to part one of Let's Play The Sims 3 Han Legacy Challenge. So yes, this is my new Let's Play that I am starting. There's going to be a lot of talking in this first part, so if you don't like that, maybe just start watching part two, although you won't really know what's going on. But you know what? You do what you want to do. So yes, I kind of lost my train of thought, but... The reason I'm starting another new Let's Play is obviously Showtime will still be going on. I plan on doing like 40 to 45 parts of Showtime, but Ambitions is ending very soon. You guys know I only plan on making it 25 parts, and I'm currently at like 22 or 23 parts right now. I think 22. Fairly certain. Maybe 20. I don't even know. I, I don't. I'm pretty sure I'm on 22. So that series will be ending very, very, very soon, but I uh, did want to go ahead and start this and upload it today because it's Saturday and I wanted to, and I had everything ready and stuff, so yes. And before I introduce you to our, what do they call it, our heir, I believe, yes, no, our founder, well technically she's our heir, right? I'm reading the rules right now, eh, she kind of is, she's the founder. You guys don't care, though. So, um, okay, what I did want to say is the world that we are playing in, which I will show you in a minute, is unpopulated. I haven't talked this much in a while, so I'm like, I'm, I'm out of breath. Anyway, it's unpopulated, so I did make some sims to go ahead and place in here, and the ambition sims might be moving in here after the let's play ends. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Wink, wink. But, um, yeah, there's some familiar faces in here and some new sims that I created. But I want you guys, if you have any male sims, to go ahead, send it to the email that's in the description, which I believe is simsweetycontact at gmail.com. Send them as a link. Because, you know, you can upload sims to, like, the Exchange or Mediafire or wherever. So if you have a male sim that you think our founder could potentially get with, we're going to have to see, then go ahead, upload them to the Exchange or Mediafire, and then send that link to me in an email, the email address that I just said. And it's also in the description, so you can just, like, copy and paste the email if, if you like, and then I'll place them in the town, and we'll have to see if our founder likes them. Okay, so if you don't know what a legacy challenge is, it's basically, you try to get to 10 generations. I kind of want to say I'm just going to aim for 5, and if I get to 10, then that would be amazing. But right now, my goal is 5. There's a point system, but I'm not going to really be doing that. We have to buy a really, really large lot to start off with, 64 by 64. Um, let's see, is there any other rules I want to go over with you? I don't think so. Okay, but if you guys have been subscribed to me for quite a while, you know I did start a legacy challenge a long time ago, and I kind of just ended it, like after doing seven parts or whatever, and the reason for that is I had a really bad glitch where anytime I went into build or buy mode, my game would crash, and I could not take it, so I kind of just gave up, and yeah. So that is why I stopped that, but I plan on doing this for a very, very, very long time. So I'm going to go ahead and close my laptop because I don't think I need the rules up here anymore. And we can just go ahead and I will introduce you. Well, first I want to show you the world. The world we are playing in, if my game doesn't lag because I just opened it up and the world is probably still loading up because it's huge, is called St. Clair and it is one of the awesome world. Worlds? They have more than one. And it's really cool because there's this whole, like, city industrial kind of area right in here. Then this is, like, do we, no, we don't live over here. This is kind of, like, the more suburban area, but there, I think these are some shops around this area. But there are, like, houses and some apartments. And I did place some lots, just a few. Like, I placed the garden, the stone throw greenhouse, I think that's what it's called. From the same city store, I placed that. So that's on this side of the peninsula, and then if you go across the bridge, then this is over kind of by where we live, so there, this is the more suburban area, I think, I don't know. And then there's some houses over here that are very secluded, and this has some businesses going around here, I think these are all like little, little shops and stuff. It's a lot like the city across the bridge, it's not loading up because, like I said, I just opened my game. It's a lot like this area, kind of. Too bad it's not, or no, this area. Getting confused. And, yes, these are some more expensive, larger houses. 
And over here, there's some empty lots, and we live on this lot right here. It's a very, very, very big lot. Like I said, you have to start off on a 64 by 64 lot, giving you not very much money, but we have a view of the ocean, and I think this lot is so pretty. We're way far out from everything else, just very much in the countryside. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to our founder. So this is Sophia Han. So she doesn't have too much of a backstory, but I'll go ahead and tell it to you. So basically, she is my Asian-inspired cast sim that I went ahead and made a couple weeks ago, but I gave her a little bit of a makeover. I changed her name, but I think she's really, really really pretty. I'm very pleased with the way she turned out in that create a sim video and I just gave her a little bit of makeover here so that she wouldn't be like the exact same sim. But basically she grew up and in an apartment in like Korea or one of the Asian countries. I think Korea is an Asia anyway. I'm not really sure. But I'm just gonna say Korea because I think the last name Han is Korean if I'm right. I think I saw that on Wikipedia. Bank, don't get mad. But um, yeah, she grew up in an apartment in Korea with just her two parents. You know, she didn't have any siblings, and very, in a very like industrial area. She, it's like it's all like a concrete jungle kind of thing, like a city. Not exactly what she liked because she never got to go to parks or anything, and. It wasn't very much out in the countryside. It was just all, like, skyscrapers, which some people really love, but that was definitely, most definitely not what Sophia liked. But one time, her little family took a trip to St. Clair, and she saw all the beautiful countryside, and she decided that one day she was going to move here, buy a huge plot of land, have a really big family, and just really makes the best out of her life so that's kind of her backstory she just invested in a huge plot of land and she kind of wants to have a little bit of a little bit of a farm like I want her to get some chickens and cows when she has enough money but that is her oh and she also loves gardening because she likes being outdoors and stuff definitely not where whoa 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 whoa, whoa. She definitely didn't really fit in where she used to live. So I'll go ahead and tell you her traits now. So she is family oriented. Like I said, she had a very small, small family. So she wants to have a big family. She's a gatherer, which basically means that she, you know, can find seeds and she likes to harvest plants and kind of goes gardening. She is a neat, she's a little bit of a neat freak, you know. She's frugal because she did grow up with such a small family in a small apartment. She kind of learned how to pinch her pennies and a green thumb. As I said, she loves to garden and be outdoors. So she likes pop music, stir fry, and the, her favorite color is lilac. See, eh? She is a Sagittarius and she wants to have the perfect garden. And I don't remember if I told you her name was Sophia Han, but that is her name. I don't even think I did. But, um, yeah, apparently she wants to join the science career. But the perfect garden, lifetime wish, you want to plant and grow eight different species of a perfect plant. So, I will go ahead and show you her beautiful house. Are you ready for this? Whoa, I skipped it. Okay, here it is. It's obviously amazing. We don't have very much simoleons right now. We only have a little bit over a thousand. So, she has her kitchen area, which basically is just a mini fridge and a counter. She has a bed to sleep, because that's normally what you do in beds, a shower, a toilet, a sink, and an easel, because I thought maybe she could get into painting a little bit so she could paint portraits of her kids. And that's basically all she has. I do want her to start a garden, so I think I'm going to take her to um, the, what's it called, the grocery store to do that. But I think we can get into the gameplay now. So the world of St. Clair. I'll put a link to where you can download it in the description. And I'll also put the rules to the Legacy Challenge in the description too. So I think we can just go ahead and start this. Oh and by the way I did a poll a while ago. Showtime was the Let's Play that won. And the Legacy Challenge got the second place. So that is why I am doing this. But let's go ahead and start off by going to the library, just like everybody starts off Let's Plays, and make an online dating profile. Because like I said, I did place a couple guys in here, but I want to get your guys, so. That sounded weird. I want to get your sim, guys. That doesn't make it any less weird. But I want to find her the perfect guy. 
So it might be a little bit laggy in this part, Oops. just because the world is generating sims and stuff like that, like it's lagging right now probably because the game is, you know, putting sims in jobs and generating sims because the world is unpopula um, unpopulated, but sims will be generated, so. A little bit of lag, like, it's totally not loading up right now. Plus, it's the first time I'm playing in this world, so. I think it's a really cool world. There's a lot to do. Okay, come on, Sophia. I'm trying to click on you. Here we go. Sniffle. Let's put the walls cut away. So let's go ahead and use one of these computers if we can. And let's do online dating, create a profile. And I have, what's it called? Off. Free will off. I'm going to put it on low free will. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, but we're going to see. She wants to learn the gardening skill, so I think we will have to do that. <sighs> She wants to take, oh, you can't reach it? Like, seriously, though? Really? Really? Um, come on. You can reach it. I believe oh, in you. Oh, let's see the counters. Can we just, like, can we not? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Testing. Cheats. Enabled. True. I'm just going to delete these counters. Just like this. Just so she can get to it, because, um, we, not writing, we need to, obviously. So we're going to create ourselves a profile. Whoa, okay, mascot, no, 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 no. So, I think all this is good. And then let's go to online dating and browse the profiles. See who we got here. Okay, so it looks like a lot of the Sims that I created, I didn't create Melvin. He's just generated. Okay. So August is the little nerdy Sim that I made. Jasper is Madison's boyfriend, and they were my Valentine's Day Sim create a Sim 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 <laughs> video. Stuff he knows. Sure, you guys appreciate it. Apparently, these are his traits. I don't think I gave him traits, so they're all randomized, but you know, whatever. Um, Melvin, I did not create, but he doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, he sounds pretty good. He's a lot like us. And Dean, he's basically like the sporty kind of guy. And Aaron is a business guy, so I don't know who I like. I kind of want to send Melvin a message. And then let's send one other person a message. She wants to check her messages, I believe. No, she wants to browse online for dating profiles. Whoa, our portal's here. Okay, and then let's also go ahead and send, I don't even know, August a message. So I don't, I don't know if we're allowed to sell this. For now, I'm just going to put it in our inventory. I'm, I'm not really sure. I did sell her camera, though. That's one thing I did sell. Okay, so we have done that. Let's go ahead, and I wanted her to go to the grocery store, so where is that? I do not exactly know. Just looking at all these little venues, it's so cute. Maybe we don't have one on this side of town. We might have to cross the town. Oh, but it was a stuffy... I think I'm missing it. Oh, here's one. Let's go ahead and shop for some groceries. So we can get some stuff to plant. So we're going to go ahead and head on over there. Apparently we are taking a subway. And she wants to travel to the future. No. Check for, whoa. Whoa. Check for messages, which we'll have to do sometime. And it's, I don't want to waste our money on that, so we're not going to do that. She wants to have fortune told. I think we might do that. That could be a little bit fun. Oh, if I could promise it. 
uh, just saying. Okay, so we should get um, a couple lettuces, just two. Actually, let's just get one. No, not 31, <laughs> just one. Let's get tomato, let's get pecan, pear, orange, raspberry, strawberry. Should probably just filter out by that. Um, apple, peach, orange. Did I already get an orange? I did already get an orange. Blackberry. I don't think it got blackberries. No. Blueberry and cocoa. Or cocoa. I don't know how you say it. I thought it was cocoa, but I could be completely incorrect. So we're going to go ahead and buy these items. She wants to grow a tomato plant. Okay, still, like, let me promise that, please. So, now she does want to get her fortune told, so I feel like maybe we should do that. I do that. And I don't know where that is. I think I saw it. Yes, it's all the way out here. So, let's have her fortune told, because I think that'd be a cool way to start off this Let's Play. See what people think the future has in store for her. My voice kind of cracked a little bit there, but that's okay. So... This is, like, a really pretty location. Look at the sky. It's gorgeous. We're just going to go ahead and skip it on up. So, Sophia Han tries to relax as the fortune teller holds her hand firmly in place, palm up. With one finger, the fortune teller begins to trace the lines in her skin, gathering information about her temperament, a longevity maybe, and romantic inclinations. Should the fortune teller continue to gather infor more, bleh, information or form a prediction now? Let's donate a little bit more. Sophia ha- whoa, okay, can't speak. Sophia Hahn keeps hearing predictions that directly contradict the last fortune cookie she read. How can this be? Sophia Hahn and the fortune teller drain the last of the tea and try to find patterns in the leaves at the bottom of the cups. Some symbols have universal meaning, but others require experts' interpretation. Should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now? So we're just going to donate like one more time. One by one, the fortune teller carefully turns each card in the formation to reveal its image. Every flip of the card adds to the future tale of Sophia Han. So the fortune teller, okay, we're going to leave now. So it says, so, okay, pause. So remember to avoid all penguins and you should do okay. The fortune teller reminds Sophia Han. I do not know what Sophia is doing, but we will go ahead and keep that in mind. It says it may come true. I don't know what that was going to say, Sophia. What are you doing to your hand? Let's go ahead and let's get a book. Let's get a gardening book. There's two bookstores right here. And then we can read a book out this park right here. Maybe someone will come by and we can chat. And then we'll go home and we'll do a little bit of gardening and that should be good. So, I don't know. Is there a self-employed gardening career? Because I would quite like that. I don't think there is, though. Let's see. Where's the city hall? I think it's out here. Yeah. City hall. Register at self-employed. Oh, we can be a self-employed gardener. We're going to do that. Because I do like to be self-employed. I think that's quite fun. Maybe she'll get a different job once she has some kids. But I don't know. So let's get a skill book. We want gardening. I hope there are gardening books. I could look really stupid right now if there's not any. Here we go. Um, Let's just get volume one right now. I don't want to spend too much money. Because they are kind of expensive. Apparently once you go to the library. Apparently she wants to go to the library. Even though we were already there. These little birds. Oh. I thought I saw little birds. Birds come back to me. Birds. I give up on you. Okay. So let's visit this park. And read our book. So we're trying to see these little birds. Can I catch you? No. Okay. I want a little bird. Okay. 
let's get back over here and she's gonna come and I want her to relax is this oh is this one of the places where you can like ride your broom on that's cool I think it is I could be wrong I'm not even sure so let's read our book maybe some people will come we can socialize a bit I think that'd be kind of nice but she's just gonna chill chill out there's some mushrooms right here we might have to oh I don't even think we can harvest them just kidding Ooh, someone's coming here oh and she apparently I uninstalled her skin sorry girl but this is Darla from my Oracy challenge which I do want to start back up on live streams but she looks fabulous as ever except she has no skin that's okay I get you new skin and this is their dog Viola I'll fix you eventually Darla I'm sorry okay but a couple of you guys actually suggested including Darla that we should use my Asian cast sim in this challenge and I thought that sounds like a pretty good idea I feel like I should just fix her skin right now why don't we do that I'm gonna fix it right now I've, I'll be back I will yes alrighty I just popped her into cast really quick and I fixed her but let's go ahead and I want to introduce ourselves to Darla I think she's just a teen but I'd like for us to know her oh and look at Viola she is so cute this makes me want to start my Oracy, bleh, Oracy streams again sometimes I forget English I'm sorry guys I don't even know let's see here Darla obviously doesn't know not to talk to strangers but that's good in our instance here let's ask her sign let's ask her if she is single which I believe she should be let's high five her that should be good she is 11 days younger than us so her age ugh, it didn't start off at like all the way at the bottom so I'm gonna have to fix her age which I hate when that happens but whatever she is unemployed Okay, I'm being a little laggy here. Like I said, it'll probably be laggy this part. Careers and generated and stuff. She is a Pisces. And yes, she is single. I figured she was. Okay, that's cool. I think we're going to go back to reading our book now. Is someone else here? I heard a toddler singing. Oh, no, that's not a toddler. This is... Oh, this is her sister, Lacey Gills Carbo. Oh, I want to start these streams again. Look at Lacey. She's so cute. I didn't even see her come. She's adorable. She's just going to read this, and of course, we have Darla over here on her iPad, even though... She's out in the beautiful nature. Read a book, Darla. Read a book. Okay! I feel like I'm being boring in this part. There's not much to do when you just have one sim. Working on those skills. That's a good thing to do. Let's read this till our gardening skill improves, which is for the next couple hours. I think I'll just go ahead and pick up once she's done with this book, because we're not really going to do anything right now. And I bumped my desk. Whoops! Ha ha. That was, that was a weird laugh. I don't know. It didn't quite come out right. I was going to be like, ha ha, but it just, it didn't. I don't know. Okay, she just finished her book and got a level one skill in the gardening skill. She wants to grow something, and it's pretty late now, but before she goes home, I want her to stop at the city hall. Oh, kitty meowing. Skitty, come here. Just come sit in my room for a little bit longer. Skitty cat. Meow. I'll let you out in one minute, okay? I'm going to clip out in a minute here because Sophia has to sleep, so... Oh, you go come sit by me? How cute. Come here! What does a cute kitty go do? Okay. So, let's go ahead and we are going to register as a self-employed gardener. I love doing self-employed careers. I think they're a lot more fun than just sending your sim to a rabbit hole for a certain amount of hours each day. I don't know. I think it's just a lot more interactive and cool. I do them all the time in my current household. And I don't know. I used to always put my sims in rabbit hole careers. But a lot of the time now, I'm doing self-employed careers. 
From my current household, all of my sims are in rabbit hole careers, so like I say that. <laughs> kind of contradicting myself. I love how this world has a city area and the suburban area because I don't think Sophia completely wants to leave the city area, but yes. So, from the career gardener's land comes a valuable and delightful harvest. Not content to just consume this fine produce, the career-minded gardener cares about selling quality goods and staying on top of the food chain. So we have to earn money by selling harvestables we've grown. So we're going to accept that career. We're not going to make... Nah, I don't... That's weird. We're not going to make very much money from it, but, you know, that's okay. Hopefully we'll marry a man who does. So plant water, weed, tend, repeat. That's what it takes to feed the town with the highest quality produce. It helps to have a green thumb and an affinity yeah, for the outdoors. Oh, goodness sake, subway station. Um, but you can always succeed with the plain old daily grind. And she jarned. She jarned? She joined the gardener career. She jarned the gardener career. I would have her just stop and eat out, but we're trying to save our money because she's a little bit poor right now, but that's okay. We only have $721. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, so before she goes to bed, she can go ahead and eat something. So let's have her eat some yogurt. And then she can go to bed. Hopefully she won't be too tired. Yeah, she should be fine. Oh, we have our little university thing, which I'm going to go ahead and sell because it's worth 20 simoleons, so that should be okay. And she's going to eat that on the toilet because she's classy. And I will go ahead and pick on up in the morning, probably. Let me see how long this part is. Okay. <laughs> well, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this part here because it's been pretty long. It's just asleep outside in the <laughs> rain. I'm sorry, Sophia, but you guys can see her sleepwear before she goes to bed. It's same thing I put on her in the create a sim video. So, yes, but this looks so horrible. She's just, like, miserable. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys really, really enjoy this series. I'm really excited to really get into it. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to subscribe. And, yeah, I said yeah a million times. My cat's meowing. Okay, bye!